This is Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to do this umbrella logo using Adobe, or sorry, Inkscape. We're going to be using Inkscape today. So open up a new document and we'll get started. We'll go to File, Document Properties. Let's uncheck Show Page Border and choose Pixels as our display unit. Close out of this menu. We'll open up our Align and Distribute. Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients menu in the side here. And we'll start by going to the pen tool. Let's click on the pen, click on the screen, and click here and pull. Something like that. And you'll see we get this curvy line. We don't want that, so we're going to press Shift and the letter L. Shift, L. And you'll see now it's straight. So let's click over here. And if you don't like the way yours turns out, just uh, we can edit the nodes afterwards. So let's press Shift L and we'll get our straight line again and click back to the beginning. And we'll click and pull at the same time. Okay, so I have a shape something like that. So let's fill it in. We'll fill it in black for now and we'll get rid of the stroke. So press Shift and X. And I'm not sure if I'll edit that quite yet. It's not bad. I'm going to duplicate it by going to Control D to duplicate. You can also right click and uh, duplicate right here. Control D is your shortcut. Now with this duplicated copy, I'll turn it red just so that we can see the difference here. And I'll come up to this button here, flip selected objects horizontally, click on that, and I'll press Control and I'll drag this off to the side. And I have my snaps on. You'll see that it's snapped up there. I have these snaps on up here. That's why that happened. So it's kind of tight in the middle. We're going to fix that with the node tool. So we will actually end up editing the nodes here. So I'll grab this node here. I'll press Control and I'll drag it off to the side. And I'll select this node. I'll press Control and I'll drag that off to the side. Okay, I'll click off the graphic and then we'll just fill in this area here with our pen tool. So let's click here. And if you don't have your snaps on, just turn them on. And that'll help you snap to the areas you want to. So I'll click here and I'm going to pull. And it doesn't matter if you out overlap slightly. That's okay. And again, we don't want this curvy line, so we'll press Shift L. And I'll click here and I'm going to pull like that. And again, curvy line, we don't want that. Shift L. And then I'm going to click back to the beginning and I'm going to pull at the same time. And again, it doesn't matter if you overlap a little bit, that's okay. And there's our shape. Let's select it with the select tool, this arrow up here, and let's color it anything, doesn't matter. I'll go green, I guess, and press Shift and X to get rid of the stroke. So there's our umbrella shape. Uh, maybe we'll give it the colors now. I think, what did I choose here? Red, light blue, and green. Okay, so let's go choose this red color and light blue, something over here. Maybe uh, this one, uh, this one. And then this one was a green color, some sort of bright, vibrant green. And there's this one, we'll go with that. Okay, so let's create our, um, what do you call it, handle. So we're gonna go to the circles and ellipse tool, let's press Let's actually move over so we have some space on the screen here. So circle tool, press shift and control, and we'll drag to create a perfectly round circle. We'll select this thing. We're going to duplicate it, control D to duplicate, and we'll turn it any color. It doesn't matter, just as long as it's different. We'll shrink it down using shift and control, uh, something like that. And then we're going to get the rectangle tool. Let's click and drag to create a rectangle about that size. I'm going to duplicate that. Right click, go to duplicate, and your, if your snaps are on, you should just be able to snap this on the bottom of itself. Press shift, and we'll select both of them, and we're going to group them together. Uh, make it a little smaller. And I'm going to press shift and select the... I'm going to change the color of that to something that's not green. Let's turn it red. So let's align this long rectangle, press shift and select the red circle and let's align that centrally and to the left edge. 
Okay, now let's select this rectangle here. Let's ungroup it. Let's select the bottom one, delete it. We don't need it. And let's see here. Let's make another rectangle. We're going to cut this red circle in half. Let's bring the opacity. Let's select this red object, this rectangle that we've created, and we'll put the opacity in half. And I'm going to duplicate this. Press Control D to duplicate it. And we'll just move that down so it snaps on the bottom of itself with your snaps on here. Press Shift. Select both rectangles. Let's group them together. Press Alt to get underneath the layer to select this red circle here. Alt and Shift. And let's align that vertically and horizontally. Now let's select this red rectangle. Let's ungroup it. Select the bottom one. Delete it. And the purpose of that is so that we can get to the halfway point of this circle here. That's why we're doing that. So I'll press shift and I'll select the red object and the red rectangle. And we will go path difference. Okay, so with this circle here, I'm going to, you see that we have just a half a circle. We need to cut that in half. Press control Z, I'll put that back. Let's, um, before we do that, we'll grab this green rectangle, press shift. And I'll select this red object here, Path, Union, and now we'll cut it in half. With uh, the green object selected, press Shift, select the red object, Path, Difference, and let's fix that. I'm going to zoom in here. Let's join these nodes. Okay. All right, so let's select that and I think I left it at black, so let's choose some sort of black color. Shrink it down, pressing Shift and Control to a appropriate size, and then we'll drop that down to the bottom. Maybe shrink it more. Let's take these snaps off for a second. I don't think we need them anymore. Okay. So now I just added a few touches here, if you'll notice, just some little bit of shine here. So let's do that. Let's grab this object here. We're going to duplicate it. Right click, go to duplicate. We'll turn this any color, doesn't matter. And we're going to, we're going to shrink that down. So let's press control nine, maybe two times. And then we're going to duplicate it by pressing control D to duplicate. And we'll turn this black and we'll click it again to get the rotation handles. And we're going to grab this little uh, plus sign here and we're going to move it up to the corner. And then we're going to turn this just a little bit like so. And let's zoom in here using control and the mouse wheel. Press shift and select the orange object, black and orange selected path difference. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Let's turn that white. And we'll do the same thing over here. Control D to duplicate. Let's turn it white actually. And we will inset that a few times by going to Control 9. And inset is right here. Control parentheses, but Control 9 also works. So you'll see what that does. Control 9. Whoops, too many times. Path. Control 9. I actually don't like the way that's coming out. So instead, we're going to select this white object. We're going to go Path, Dynamic Offset. And let's grab this little node here and we'll pull it down. To That works. I like that. We'll select it. We'll go Path, Object to Path. And we're going to duplicate this white object. Control D to duplicate it. Let's turn it black, this, this copy here. Click it again to get the rotation handles, and let's drag this plus up to the corner here. And then we will rotate this about that much. Let's zoom in using Alt in the mouse wheel. And you'll see that this little bit's hanging off, but we can uh, get rid of that later. Press Shift, and we'll select the black and the white object. We'll go Path, Difference, Path, Break Apart. And I'll press shift to deselect this white object and then I'll just press delete for the little piece there. Okay, and let's do the same over here. I didn't notice that path, break apart, and we'll just select the white piece there and delete that. Now let's do the same with this object here. 
We will control D to duplicate it. Let's turn it white. And we will press control 9 to inset that maybe two times. That looks good. And we're going to duplicate it. Control D to duplicate. And let's turn this one black. And again, click it to get the rotation handles. And we'll grab this little plus sign. And we'll put it up to the top. And let's rotate this about here. And I'll zoom in with the mouse wheel, press shift, and select the white object, black and white selected, path, difference. And I will keep this one. I actually kept it on the other one, if you'll notice there. Okay, so let's zoom out. Click off the screen and zoom out. Now we're going to select the white objects. And let's give it a linear gradient. I'm going to go to the edit gradient tool by clicking this button. Let's put this stop at the top, this one at the bottom. Go to the Select Tool. Let's select this one. Linear Gradient. Edit the Gradient. Let's put this stop at the top. And this one at the bottom. And again, we'll select the final one. Linear Gradient. Edit the Gradient. Transparent side at the top and white side at the bottom. Okay, let's see. And we're done. Oh, let's uh, let's do the handle bit there. Let's grab the handle here. Control D will duplicate that. Let's turn it. We'll turn it white. And I'm going to inset that by pressing Control Nine. Uh, maybe just one time. And I'm actually going to lower it one step, two, three, three steps till it goes below the blue object. And I'm going to give that a linear gradient. Let's edit the gradient by clicking this button here. Put the transparent side here and put that side here. I'm going to click in the middle here, double click, to create another stop. I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up on this one. I'm going to click on this stop. That one's already down to zero. And we'll click on this stop and we'll bring that also down to zero. And then we're going to give this a little bit of a blur, maybe three. Let's see how that looks. Hard to grab it now. Control Z. Okay, I do have it. And I'm going to edit the gradient again. Let me pull that out a little more. Just so it looks like a little bit of shine on the handle there. And that's how you can create an umbrella using Inkscape. If you like the tutorial, please like, subscribe, find me on Facebook to get updates on new tutorials. And as always, thank you for watching.